if somebody asked me about Dallas, I would always say that he was incredibly hardworking, uh, that, um, that he never left any stone unturned in the gym or really anywhere else in life. So if he could do it, he would go all the way and do it 100%. You know, he was a, had a big heart. He was generous. He was kind. You know, even though he was this big, hulking, you know, giant of a man, he was kind to everybody. And he treated people with respect. I think he'd want to be remembered as incredibly hardworking with blue collar work ethics that would never leave a stone unturned. And, uh, and he didn't do that in his life and in his training and who did everything he could in his life and achieved a tremendous amount in his short life in his 26 years. Um, you know, he lived 26 amazing years and touched a lot of people. put so much pressure on myself you know I um, you know maybe I'm too hard on myself maybe I expect too much but then again um, you know you gotta you gotta aim for the moon you know shoot for the moon and if you miss you land in the stars they say so uh, you know that's that's the way I live my life um, I set high expectations for myself and I set high goals and I work very hard I should be happy but you know, at the end of the day, it's not me. It's not who I am. I don't work for a second. I don't bust my ass for a second. Um, but I'll be back. <laughs> In my Arnold voice, I'll be back. And I'm not gonna sell myself short. I would rather be crippled and, you know, maybe whether I win the Olympia or never win the Olympia, and know I gave this my dream, everything I had, than to not have succeeded and wonder, well, what if I would have tried harder? Because I don't want to live the rest of my life wondering, you know, if I gave it everything I got. I want to know I gave it everything I got. It's another day to just get up here and do what I love, and I'm fortunate enough to be successful doing it. And, I mean, what, what more could a man want, you know? I mean, what, what, what more could you want? At 25 years old, what more could I want? I just want another pro show. I'm going to the Olympia. I do what I love every day. I do it with my best fucking friend in the world. I put so much into this, you know. I put so much into this for the last six years of my life. I've just been dedicated to this. Fuck, it hurts. <laughs> it hurts, man. And uh, it hurts, man, because I feel like I... I feel like I let a lot of people down. You guys, um, you love me, you support me, you, you write the, just the grandest, nicest things. The comments you write, you're so supportive. I have the best fans in the world. You know, guys, I'm sorry, but uh, I promise you this. I fucking promise you this. One day, I'll, uh, I'll get this shit figured out, you know. I got a work ethic like nobody else, and uh, I got time on my side. And one of these days, I'm gonna nail that shit. <laughs> Emotional, boy. That's tough. If you think I'm gross, if you think I'm nasty, if you think I'm too big, you that was the goal. <laughs> that, you're right. <laughs> To live a life and never have any regrets on anything uh -huh. is, is, is a good life, I think. So, yeah, there's risk involved and there's failure, um, and it's kind of like you take yourself out of your own comfort zone, but it's important, I think, and, um, and I think everyone should live that way. With, you know, if your time, your time comes when your time comes, you know, you, never, you can't control that. This can happen to any one of us. When it's your time, it's your time, and you really can't predict it. That's why you gotta live every life to, a, to a, your fullest. I always tell people that, live your passions, don't be afraid to do what you want to do because you might not be here tomorrow. And Dallas lived his life to its fullest, you know. Was it short, cut short? Of course it was. And we're all upset about that. But you know what? He, he was doing what he loved. You know, at least Dallas lived the kind of life that he has no regrets about. And Carver wins the men's open overall title here tonight. Gets his IFBB Pro card, only 21 years of age. Kid's got a bright future. Uh, pretty impressive, wouldn't you say? He's got the little baby face, but he's, uh, he doesn't have the baby physique. Uh, you know, a giant, and uh, once again, he'll be remembered, obviously, 
as a great bodybuilder with oodles of potential that was just never realized because his life was cut short. how great of a guy he was, how outgoing he was, he was much bigger on the inside than he was on the outside, and he'd, he'd do everything to, to help people. So, man, I love him, we all love him, we miss him. Until next time, guys, stay positive, God bless you all, and uh, thank you so much for your love and support.